Jesus was on Jesus' case. This one I drive did not be public. And I, I'm going to tell everyone out there, just email me. There's reasons why I wasn't made public. Many things came to light during the Brent Line Drive, so we could not make it public. I will, when I go back, do another Line Drive. Mm -hmm. uh, I've had a lot of people asking me, then will I make this one public? If I can, if I feel and determine in any way that it can do more harm to this case than good, I will not make it public. I think some people need to understand Great. that I'm not going to make something public that's going to hurt the case. So if things come out during the blind drive that could hinder this or alter things, I will not make it public. I'll do my best, but I can't make any promises. Okay, Gail, let me, I'll go ahead and do a review. If there, There's a lot of information. I've, I've done this case uh, several times, but just in case anybody uh, hasn't uh, um, joined us before, I'll, I'll go ahead and review that. And, Zach, you, you just let me know when, when uh, if, you, if you pick up anything. Um, the, the case was open on February 10th, or I'm sorry, February 11th of 2009. I believe that's a day after she went missing. Um, as far as I know, there are three websites for her. Uh, Bring Haley Home, uh, HaleyBug.com, and Justice for Haley. Now, we actually run JusticeForHaley.com. Um, Susan, are, are those other two websites, are they out in st uh, still in operation? The Haley Bug is no longer in operation. Okay, but Bring Haley Home is, correct? Yes. Okay. Um, first set of dream drawings it said uh, the number 29 mother was going to take her from school she called but hung up uh, mom's boyfriend next one says grandfather Jacksonville Florida trailer check call to school number 29 uh, Jacksonville Florida trailer comes up a lot of times uh, the next dream drawing um, is a picture I believe of of Misty uh, it says $175,000 no always wears red and this says I think Haley may have been taken by a close friend of her mother's I think it's important to check any records mm -hmm. to Haley's school. Um, a trailer in Jacksonville, Florida uh, could be where she's at right now. Map is below. Um, and then it talks about a more specific location, which I did post. Uh, and the map is below that. Now, remember, this was done back uh, in, in February of, of 2009. Uh, and then after that, uh, a few emails posted there. Next dream drawings are done the very next day, and it says... Red, she is safe, police not reporting note, safe in police custody, 2X, no trespassing sign, red, police withholding facts, don't fall for plot, 27 miles. Next one says, check phone records, father knows girlfriend's lying, not in same bedroom, not in home, um, at 213 smoking. So I don't think that Haley was actually, I don't even think she was in the house at, when, when she was reported to be in the house. Um, and that's what I thought back then. We did a show number 11 on that case again. Uh, Dream drawings from the 12th, the day after that. It says they cleaned the trailer and then the word RR, which I believe means railroad tracks, and something to do with they cleaned the trailer. I think this was to hide some type of evidence. Um, to do oh, that. and Brian? Yep. Um, you know, when I did this case in the beginning with you, I talked about the railroad tracks and the right. importance of the railroad track. Right. So um, I did some work on it again the other night, mm -hmm. and uh, I'm, st I'm still feeling it. I'm still in the same place. Um, I don't know if you disclosed the complete location. Have you made it public? Yeah, I did. I, I usually always do that. That's uh, that's something that what we worked on. Yeah, I did make that public. Last okay, time. but the other night, did you make that one? Public that's what I'm talking about. Dream? Yeah, that's public. Okay. Um, I'm in a little different area than you. It's it's close. Okay. Um, and I can't say where they you know pinpoint until I actually get there. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. A little closer, but but I really feel like um, the blind drive, the first blind drive, was extremely successful. Okay. G going back to this, uh, I'm just going over the entire case file. Um, so the, the the next one said uh, Jacksonville trailer. This is this is another set of dream drawings, but again it says Jacksonville trailer. Jacksonville trailer 27. Family knows tracks are behind home. 10, 10 meets 301 Park by Railroad Junction. We found that location. There are trailers there. Um, that, but that's in Jacksonville, Florida. Remember, she went missing from Satsuma. That's pretty far, that's right. pretty far away. 
Um, I don't know what's there, but I think something important is there. Um, I have a grid that location is posted. We did do show 19, 20, 21, 22, 24. These are all shows we did. Um, uh, then we posted this information in the, in the forum, which is missingpersonforum.com. Um, Gail, you've joined us plenty of times. I, I could sworn you went there twice, but I guess, guess you're right. You, only, you were there, so you would know. Uh, we did, we did uh, look into a few uh, sex offenders uh, in the area. Um, as far as we know, police have said everybody's cleared. Uh, um, March 1st, we did show number 27. You were on that show, Gail. Um, and then Dream Drawing... I've said over and over again you know I feel it is. Yeah. Well, we, I think we all feel that. Uh, but From the very first show, I told you this mimics the Kaylee Anthony case. I'm okay. sorry. Maybe it's a little too opinionated for everyone. Let, let me just continue. Uh, mm -hmm. the, on the 28th, February 28th, it says, Haley, uh, tomorrow, March 7th, new breakthrough. Uh, as far as I know, there was no breakthroughs. March 1st, 2009, Dream Drawings. Haley um, has been found, plot failed. Police have three confessions, the number 3112611147. That number turned out to be nothing. As far as I know, we did show number 28, 29, 30, 31, 37. Uh, March 17th, Dream Drawings. Uh, Haley's body has been found. She went to Jacksonville. She confessed plot failed. Uh, now it says Haley's body has been found. That that's not not good. Uh, but what, once again, Jackson, there's there's something to do with Jacksonville that revolves in this case, and it might not be her location. Uh, and we did once again get some location. I don't know what that location is. Uh, and then we did show number 43. Um, and then we did uh, did something with you uh, on March uh, April 14th. You left to go to Florida. We actually made a video. That's that is right. posted. Um, and then then we did a couple interviews while you were down there. Uh, and now you did the blind drive. Um, we did show 61, 62, 63. Dream drawings again. <laughs> um, January 4th, April 21st. Say um, Haley already been found. Uh, where's Red? And it's the same thing. I'm getting the same things in the same person, which I, we do believe is Misty. Um, and then we did some more research, a couple maps, a couple news articles. We did another show, another show. I'm just trying. I'm just okay. We did about ten more shows. <laughs> then uh, on September um, uh, 22nd, it says 29 called the school was from Jacksonville trailer. Was supposed to look like abduction from school. Once again. I, I really think there's something to do with phone records in Jacksonville, Florida, in that trailer. Uh, it says body west of school, 1,300 feet. There are boats nearby, and then St. John. Now, this, this is important because um, you're St. John, but this, this is, there's actually a place called St. John in Satsuma. Uh, and it says coffee can. I know can. where it is. I know, I know you did. Um, coffee can was wearing red by by her school. She was alive when he when they put her in there, not overdose. And then there's there's a map of. Um, well, it started at 202 Green Lane, Florida. I believe that's where she was reported missing from. Uh, and then a search location that we, I think that you, well, you couldn't have looked at there because you weren't there. But there was, there's a map there. Did show number 138, and we came up with some other locations, um, which are pretty close to what I'm about ready to, to tell you and what we discussed last night. Um, the, the dream drawings, well, there's 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 a, there's another set of dream drawings before that. Next one says go to school. Letters are not the truth. One hundred seventy five thousand dollars. They did not get it. Three two oh nine. Uh, next one says Jacksonville, Florida. Uh, two one three railroad, railroad tracks behind home. Key is missing. Uh, key is in trailer. We'll open box. Find Haley. Okay. Anyways, now now to the, the dreams that were done the other night. Um, it says St. John's St. John by tracks. B A Y U drive. Blood will match. Um, blood will match the blood the police already have, and then the word Gale. We found that location. There is a location. Um, it's St. John's River Club, which is next to a by, uh, by your drive. Go ahead. Now I'm done. Now, I didn't have a chance to tell you. Now that, that map is where is Cindy and I have been. Okay. That is where Cindy and I were looking. Right. Well, there's a few issues because the blind drive. Mm -hmm. Which led us in that area. I know exactly, but there's also some problems. Um, and while I'm there, I'm going to have to figure out how to get around those couple problems. Okay. 
but I know exactly where you're talking about because that's exactly where we ended up. It'll be a lot clearer for you this time around. And before you head out, you need to ask Spirit to clear the way. Um, it's like you guys have been connecting the dots. Mm -hmm. You're going to get some bigger dots that are much easier to connect this time around. And you'll know it because you get pulled in your heart quite a lot too, don't you, Gail? Yes. Okay, real quick, yes, and, and, and then heart, I'm going to shut up. Heart and solar plexus, and, and you're going to, you'll, you'll be, uh, yeah, you'll have a lot more help this time around. Okay, real real quick, real, real quick, then I'll let you guys go. All, all I'm saying is all the dream drawings I have done has come up with the same information. There has to be some connection to a Jacksonville trailer. Um, we, 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 it does look like that, that Misty was the person that, that may have done this. Um, and the rest of the information seems to confirm all the drawings. I know, has, I know it doesn't really relate to the case right now, but I think it may. Um, so that said, uh, Zach and Gail, um, well, I know, Zach, you, you probably have something. And Gail, if you can't pick up anything else, um, please please let me know. And, and I do know that you're going to go down there and search another area, too, that we're, we're not making public yet, right? Yes. Okay. So, Zach, what, what are you getting on this case? Well, I don't actually have her energy with me, so that tells me that she's still ticking over and still still going. Okay. Still alive. Okay, um, that's and good. And I want to exonerate... I want to... Now, he, the girlfriend is Misty, but I want to exonerate the parents. I don't know about Misty, but I want to exonerate the parents. Because the thing that stood out to me here was... Um, I'm just scrolling down the initial... The initial link was when they rang 911 and they sounded frantic and have trouble answering up various questions. Mm -hmm. So when and when I read that straight away, what I got was that yeah, it's it's they are genuine in their scaredness. There's no faking it. Okay, but I also I'm getting there was like a setup. Okay, some kind of setup, and the person that Gales had alarm bells ringing for I'd put money on that I do too I've, I've, uh, to I've, seen, I've seen the work she's done so I do too um, I don't exactly understand what she's which which you're both talking about the solar <clears> places <throat> and that feeling uh, I've seen Travis uh, get that feeling um, and that was with Kaylee Anthony um, Gail can you explain that to everybody because you know if they're like me they don't have a clue what you're talking well, about okay when we do a blind drive um, and that's the coin phrase that uh, I coined good many years ago uh, in doing this. Doesn't mean we put blindfolds on. This means we don't pay attention to where we're driving. We just drive on feeling, not looking at streets or names, really. Um, and, and start in the last known location uh, where the person was seen. When you're driving, you may turn on a street and, and, all, and you don't feel anything. You just go, mm, no, no, no. And if anyone watched the Kaylee uh, Anthony blind drive, they'll see that I went the wrong way on purpose because remember I had an apprentice with me and I'm trying to teach him as well. I turned down the street that I didn't feel anything on on purpose and he said, I don't feel anything, I don't understand the difference. I said, okay, let me turn the car around. As we went to the next street and I came back around and turned, he goes, I understand it. I, I'm feeling something. I went, there you go. You went from nothing to feeling something. That's what you're looking for. You stay on that street until you feel like you need to turn again or wherever you need to go. You keep feeling that vibration. As we turned to the next, got to the next street and thought we needed to turn, then we became nauseated. Um, with me, I really tried, I tried to um, hold off the nausea and, and the feelings like that, though my heart pounds very hard, um, which mm -hmm. tells me that I'm very close to the body at that point. Uh, Travis became very ill. He now understands how it feels. The closer you get, the more symptomatic you become. So that tells you, it's kind of like the hot and cold game, if you will, the, the closer you get, the more it's symptomatic, the more feelings, the more things are happening to your own body, that tells you how close you are. You just learn to try to control those emotions as enough, as much as you can, when you're doing this, so 
that you can keep your mind, of course, I'm the driver, so I really have to keep my mind on what I'm doing. Um, and pay attention closely to what your body's telling you. And uh, that's, how, that's how we locate. <clears throat> so when you did the, the blind drive <clears throat> for Haley, uh, you started off with the, at the trailer, right? Yes. Okay. Um, did you get any of those feelings like you got with Kaylee Anthony um, in in the areas that we were that we talked about, the areas that, that that we have posted? Similar, close, but I wasn't quite there yet. Okay. And there was a reason because there was something stopping us, and I can't really mm -hmm. talk about Sorry, that sorry. because that will cause a problem. But. Um, I think I have a way around it. I think I have a solution for it. And uh, we didn't have a dog last time because I, I flew. So this time we're going to drive. And uh, for those that don't know, that's a, that is a 16-hour uh, drive for me. But we're going to drive so we can take the cadaver dog with us. Okay. Now, the area that we're talking about right now is in Satsuma. It's off of Buffalo Road and Tyler Street. There are railroad, yeah, railroad tracks exactly there. No, if if what we're saying is, is correct, she could be very close to the railroad tracks um, that parallel Buffalo Road. Now, Zach, no. you, you said alive, which is great no. news. Where, where, where do you think she may be at? I want to go back to the trailer and the involvement of the person who is in it. Okay. Um. But I, I can't. I want to put the jigsaw piece in the puzzle, and it doesn't fit. So okay. I'm just going to have to let that one sit for the moment, and let okay. it come to me in its own time. Because if I try to force it, it won't work. Okay. However, I'm going to reiterate what I said just before. For Gail, yeah, a lot more is going to come to light this time round with your truck. That's uh, that's why we're trying to get Gail to Florida. Um. Oh. Yeah, I really feel like you know a lot of confidence this time is uh, making progress on this case. And sometimes people don't understand saying, why didn't you find her the first time? You know, huh? everything in this world, as in the other world, I'm sure, is all about timing. Yes. And I can't say time is right. The time is right when the time is right. Correct. And it will happen. What are the chances, though, it will happen. of her body being found so close to where she was reported missing after all these searches? The blind drive led us in an area like that's very close, Brian. That's why it could not be made public. Okay, uh, let's get to one other thing. You made a challenge to the uh, to to the to the family. Um, whatever happened with yes, that I challenge? Did. Whatever happened to that challenge? Well, when I was there, I met up with the um, grandmother, and that's um, Ron's mother, and Ron is the father. And I met up with her, and I also met up with Haley's um, mother, her, the, the real mother. I met up with both of them. I can, uh, with all honesty, say that, I, and people have said that Haley's real mother was involved in this. Mm -hmm. I felt nothing from her. I touched her hand. I shook her hand. I met with her uncle. They have, as far as my opinion, they have no uh, idea what happened to Haley. It's, you know, there's been a lot of accusations out. Hence my comment before, I want to exonerate both the parents. Okay. Right, and I don't there believe is a relative Ron involved. really... Right, I don't believe that Ron knew exactly what happened, which is Haley's father, but I'm very clear that his girlfriend, Misty, knows... Yeah. That he soon after married her. And I'm sorry, it's my opinion. I'm putting it out there. Um, <laughs> but that's just the way it is. I'm willing to put it on the line, just like when I said uh, to you, Brian, during the show about Kaylee Anthony, that Casey Anthony is guilty. Sorry, I get very opinionated about that. But I feel very strongly that Misty is has involvement with this so uh, but you feel deceased though I do 
Um, but that's be probably because I was there. Uh, but the thing that bothers me the most about this case is that I spoke with the grandmother. And she said that her son and Misty were anxious to meet me. Right. When I got there, all of a sudden they had no time. They weren't feeling well. And they weren't this, and they weren't. They had every excuse, but well, what was right for that child? They also saw the uh, Kaylee Anthony blind drive on on Nancy Grace. So what were they afraid of? The truth. The cover would be blown. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> because it only takes a touch of the hand. I mean, it only takes a stand. If you don't believe in psychics, it only takes this that much to know who's telling what. If you don't believe in psychics, that's fine. But um, yeah. If somebody wants to help and they're free, why not? Why not use every available resource? I mean, it would only take a couple minutes. I would. I would, too. That was my missing child. I, I'd take anything I could. And they had nothing to lose by meeting me. Unless, they're guil unless someone's guilty. The truth. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And I told you what happened one time when I did meet someone who, who was guilty. Misty is trying to it's impress somebody else. Mm -hmm. She is. Well, I'll be honest with you, I'm not impressed. Okay, um... So what, what needs to happen then is we need to get Gail down there again. So what we're gonna... what we need is, um... Anybody that's willing to help Gail get down there, um, please go to her website, www.psychicgale.com, -E uh, and see how you can help. There's a donate button there. Um, Gail, what was the figure you said you needed? You said you, I think you said $600 for gas. Right. I think 600 to make us there and back. And then you're going to need uh, probably a, a hotel stay for a couple nights. Um, Susan, yeah. Susan, are you on the phone? Is Gail allowed to stay with you? Yeah, yes, sir. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. We're on the spot. Thank you, Susan. You're welcome. Now, uh, this brings Susan's up in a sweetheart. You said so. This brings up what another fact. This yes. brings up another fact. Yeah. Uh, Misty is no longer in Florida. She is in Tennessee. Mm. We're about to Tennessee. Mm. She went to three, huh? Okay. Well, I think she'll be getting a ride back to Florida real soon. Yep. I hope I I hope she ends up getting a ride back to Florida. <laughs> and Misty's brother is back in jail. Drug charge. Mm. Okay. Why? Well, I, I think that uh, this case is going to have a few more twists and turns before it's said and done. Um, but Zach, I'm, I'm most anxious to hear about which which you have to say, um, because if, if you're getting the feeling that she could be alive, I'm putting all my hopes in that. Um, even I know you, I know you could be wrong, yes. but go ahead. Yeah, I could be because um, I wasn't reading down the whole thing. I didn't pick up your energy, other mm -hmm. than it's sort of like being stored away somewhere. Mm -hmm. In a small space, not unlike Madeline's situation, but Madeline's got more room to move around. But, right. Um, yeah, I don't know. She's not. I don't have her in front of me. I don't have her with me and around me. I'm not sensing her. But that, again, that's not to say that she isn't, mm -hmm. because sometimes they just they don't. Once they've gone into spirit, sometimes they just go. I'm not involved. I'm out of the picture. There's nothing to do with me, and they just completely move on. Okay. Right, and I, if I had that one now with, with uh, Kaylee Anthony, I never saw her. Ah. She's with her angels anyway. Right. That's for sure. Right, and I, but I could feel. The, the way your Travis and I describe it is, the land is messed up. The land has been tainted. When you're driving and you can pick that feeling up, it's, it's if something changes the flow of the land. Mm -hmm. It's been tainted. 
instead of the flow of being natural and feeling good and feeling, you know what I mean? Yeah. All of a sudden it's tainted, it's bad, it's, and you feel this vibration pulling you. And, yeah. um, the spirit. It's it's spirit it's a different you. feeling. Yeah, it's the, the it's just like I said, the only thing you say is the land is tainted there, and you can feel it. It's all wrong. The flow of nature has been broken. Yeah. All right. Yeah. What I'm doing is I'm writing a little little note here, telling the people that um that we need to raise some funds for you to get down to to Florida again. Um, once you get down there, why don't you just stay? There seems to be so many missing people in Florida. Uh, can you just get a, get your little apartment down there? Well, we've actually been asked that on our way if we could stop in Tennessee um, on the tab of the Tudor case, okay, um, as well as uh, stopping in Georgia on the way down on the Rick Tanner case. And you and, might as well swing over to Immokalee too. And, well, and I got, we got asked to, to come in by a friend, uh, Christy, that was missing from Georgia. They asked if, we, if we're going to do Rick Tanner, could we do Christy? So then to say Asuma, then Orlando for Tracy and Jennifer Kessie, and then, and then we might as well head to Immokalee. Okay. I know that's sort of out of the way, though, but it's well worth it, I think. Well, that's five or six cases we could, you know, work on right. while we're there. And, did you say, and, I wasn't you know, listening, did you say Jennifer Cassie, though? Yes. Okay, you did, okay. And, Threaten duck it. You know, um, yeah, we could work on that while we're there, too. It's the same area. Okay. Um, Travis is willing to give up his Thanksgiving as well as I am. Okay. Um, Zach, you don't have Thanksgiving, so why don't you go, too? <laughs> uh, well, do, 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 you, are, do you have Thanksgiving over there in Middle Earth? No, we don't. You don't? No, that's an, we that's have Christmas. An American. You have Christmas? Yeah. yeah. I will spend Christmas with my family. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Be, I'm not going to be too popular anyways not spending Thanksgiving with my family, but I really won't be popular with them if I don't spend Christmas with them. Zach, have you been to the United States? Mm -hmm. Yes, I went to San Diego about four, four years ago, four or five years ago. No, what do you think of us? This, the same part of California. I loved SD. It was, it was beautiful. Just don't get sick here. It costs cost you a fortune. Oh, yeah, true. Yeah, true. Oh, well, travel insurance before you go. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what I heard. I heard people from Canada are actually getting travel insurance to go to the United States. Because if they get sick, they can't afford to come home. They're like trapped. <laughs> And hopefully, hopefully, all that Whereas will change. See, if you guys have a problem over here, it's um, you're covered. But it's not fair. Yeah. Yeah. That's 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 odd. Okay. Uh, oh, I got sick in Japan. Yeah, but they I paid did, for I everything there, didn't they? they, didn't they? Um, luckily, yes. Okay. Um, so I've got. Uh, if anybody wants to help, please visit Gail's website at. Uh, www.psychicgale.com and I think it's forward slash donate I'll, I'll check that out but I'll put a link in, in there um, and then you can click on a PayPal button and you can donate to the cause uh, is that right Gail? absolutely okay um, well thank you guys very much uh, Zach you have a new website now what is the website address? Um, psychiczach.com okay there you go um, Susan, thank yeah, you for thank you for coming on and thank you for letting Gail stay with you again. I know she's probably a lot of trouble. Okay, I guess that's it, Gail. Unless you got anything else to say, Zach? Anything? Um, anything? Well, anybody? I got something to say. Oh, Susan, oh, Susan, what are you? I was going to ask you what are you, what are your thoughts on the case? I know you follow it in the news. In, in unfortunately, I don't follow it too much, but I know you follow it daily. What do you, What do you think? You, you, you think? When do you think they're gonna find Haley? Oh God, I hope so. Okay. That little girl needs to be brought home. I agree. Okay. And and she's been missing. Go ahead. She's been missing for almost a year. It's time. It's time for her to come home. 
I agree. And I think the people that have the information um, can make that happen at any time. Um, so, you know, come forward and face the consequences, I guess. I mean, they're going to get well, ca gonna caught sooner or later. Face the consequences if we find her. Yeah, exactly. Gail, now, I think there's something you wanted to let everybody know, too. That when you're down there in the area and you're searching, you know, sometimes people do come along with you. You have a few set of rules. What, what are those rules? Besides, don't, um, besides don't be drunk. The search, <laughs> if they're out of the search with us? Yeah. Um, one, wear appropriate clothing. I know it's hot in Florida, but no shorts, no sandals, no open-toed shoes. Okay. We wear tennis shoes, hiking boots, uh, proper attire. Okay. Uh, when you're out there searching, shut your cell phone off. We're on a search. We're not out there to socialize. I know this sounds harsh to people, but you're looking for someone, and if you're on the phone, you could miss evidence. You could miss something. You need to pay attention to what you're doing. Uh, when I'm out there, I will water. talk to everyone. Plenty of water. I don't mean to sound harsh when I'm out there, but we're out there to do a job, not socialize. Uh, tampering with evidence, that's really a big thing. You want to bring that up? Yeah, I love that. Yeah, um, the last time I went on a search, I said to everyone, don't touch. I don't know what part of don't someone doesn't understand. But when I say don't touch, I don't mean run over, pick up the item and go, I know you said don't touch, but. <laughs> There's no such word as but. Put the stuff down, leave it down, don't touch it. We'll give you flags, flag the items, we'll go back and check what you found. Don't touch. You are t contaminating the area and contaminating evidence. Don't touch. Okay. Um, so that's that's about it. Uh, I guess they can keep track of that uh, of your search on your website, Gail. I'll try my best to uh, uh, to update that. Uh, Susan, can you post that information in the forum too, as far as uh, uh, the do donations and everything too? Sure. Thank you. Um, I think that's all I got then. Uh, and also, if you want to, if you want to stay updated too, we also run the website uh, justiceforhaley.com. Uh, there's some information there too, and we'll get these links up too. Um, that's all I got. Thank you, Zach. Thank you, Susan, and thank you, Gail. You're welcome. You're welcome. And have a good night. We'll see you guys back here Sunday night, nine o'clock uh, Eastern Standard Time.